Good evening, and welcome to the 2020 Service Recognition and Professional Achievement Awards Program. I'm privileged to honor you, the employees of the Highland Park Independent School District, for your dedication to your profession. You put in countless hours of hard work to allow our schools and our students to achieve excellence. As members of the school family, you're given a wonderful gift, the opportunity to make a difference in the life of a child. Each day you are investing in their future. I'm so proud to be a part of your team. Obviously, we wish we could be having this event in person to honor each one of you. Unfortunately, to keep everyone healthy and safe, we still need to maintain our social distances. So we will do our best tonight to let you know how we feel and honor you for all of your service to the students of Highland Park ISD. This evening, we will be recognizing employees celebrating five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and even 40 years of service, as well as those who are retiring. In addition, we'll be recognizing individuals for, for professional achievement, for earning master's degrees and doctorates, and for serving as our 2019-20 Teachers of the Year. Joining me in making the presentations tonight are members of the HPISD Board of Trustees. I'm blessed to work with such a dedicated team. They serve you and our children with great commitment. Board President Jim Hitzelberger would like to share a few words with you on behalf of the board and begin our presentations. Thank you, Dr. Trigg. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I wanna welcome you to the 2020 version of the Surface Recognition Dinner. Of course, without the dinner. This is our favorite time of year and an opportunity to recognize and show our appreciation to you, the heart and soul of HPISD. You provide the leadership for our students to truly understand our motto of enter to learn, go forth to serve. Thank you for your dedicated service to our students, parents, and community. We will begin the program by honoring our 2019-2020 Teachers of the Year. Our campuses select their Teachers of the Year based on the many contributions they have made to their campus and to the entire district. We are honored to have them on stage during convocation last August and we want to take this opportunity to acknowledge them one last time. Christy Rosenfeld, Armstrong, Katie Keffer, Bradfield, Cody Talaferro, Hire, Priscilla Hazen, University Park, Marianne Westman, McCullough Intermediate School, Sylvia Bearden, Highland Park Middle School, Carmen Moises Garcia, Highland Park High School, Let's take a moment to watch a video that illustrates just how much these teachers mean to their students. I feel it's good for a teacher to understand every student's wants and needs. And teachers play a very big role in molding um, students as a person. And I think that Ms. Westman really captures the essence of that she um, helps you um, if you um, get trouble and if you don't know the answers. Coach Rosenfeld, um, when she's instructing the class, it makes me feel like really happy because it's fun and it's a way that we work on self-control. If we don't know something, uh, she talks to us step by step and then like one month later, we know it and, and thanks to Miss Hazen. Now everything's good. Uh, something about Ms. Morsess that has always stood out to me is just that she really, really cares about her class and her teaching. She always wants you to do the best of your ability and she'll help you out wherever she can with it. Ms. Bearden is a kind, caring, and very, she has a very one-on-one -on -one personality which changes the whole learning experience. She is very understanding and it's not easy what she does in my opinion. I think it's what you want to do because she's really creative. I think it's important to be creative because nobody's the same and how it's your choice to follow direction and it's your choice to be who you are. Yes, her positivity I think that affects us just because when she's happy it makes us happy and it's just fun, she always makes everyone feel better. Whenever I had a problem or didn't quite understand the concept, she always found time in her schedule for me to come in and talk with her so I'm better able to understand the topic with her. I love her class. 
it's very fun. I sometimes wish, like, I wish I had more time to be at ESL and skip math class because at the second graders have math like at 10 or 11. And I feel that at this time, students are very malleable in the way that they think and the way that they are, and that she has really helped me as a person generally grow and be a better human being. Well, I just want to say thank you to her for just getting through this year. And that you have been a big role in a lot of students' education. Congratulations, Mr. Chu, for getting teacher of the year. I'm so excited that you, you got it. Art is amazing. I love it so much. Um, I just want to say keep smiling. You're the best teacher I've ever had. Congratulations for winning teacher of the year. Ms. Hazen, I'm very proud of you. You deserve to be teacher of the year. Congratulations, Ms. Brianna, for winning teacher of the year. We love you. Next, I am pleased to introduce our teachers who have completed advanced degrees in the past year. Teachers, we greatly appreciate the time and hard work you have spent completing your advanced degrees while continuing your outstanding work with our students in the classroom. This year's master's degree recipients are, at Armstrong Elementary School, Emily Pitts and Laura Young, Bradfield Elementary, Sydney Acers and Lindsay Young, Higher Elementary, Ashley Gretzmacher, and Joanna Meck, McCullough Intermediate School, Megan Riley, Highland Park Middle School, Bridget Myers and Kiara Perry, Highland Park High School, Natalie Puckett, Joshua Rasmussen, and Heather Smith. Special programs, Shante Carpenter. Again, congratulations and thank you very much. Job well done. Even before we entered into these unprecedented times, we've had the mindset that we are in this together. The collective effort of you recognized tonight and all of your colleagues have proven that is still true. You have continued HPISD's tradition of excellence and service. I am honored and thrilled to be here tonight to thank you all. Board Vice President Kelly Walker will make the next presentations. At this time, we'd like to give special recognition to the educators who are being honored with a Professional Achievement Award. From academics to fine arts to athletics, they teach, they guide, and inspire our students. Their accomplishments and their students' achievements make them truly superstars, and they are. Randy Allen, Athletics, was named as one of Max Prep's top 100 sports coaches in the nation. He also became the third Texas high school football coach to win more than 400 games. Jill Bellamy, Highland Park Middle School, won the 2019 Tall Texan Award from the Texas Library Association. Greg Bergeron and David Alvarado, Highland Park High School. The Highland Park High School Academic Decathlon team won its fourth state title in five years. Stuart Brown, Jackie Labati, Katie Mellis, and Aaron Scott Athletics. The team won the 2019 UIL 5A Girls Soccer State Championship. Reagan Brumley, Corey Parks, and Daniel Reberger, Highland Park High School. Three of their students named to the Texas Music Educators Association All-State Band. Winston Schwong and Andy Spear, Highland Park High School. The Highland Park High School math and science teams won the 2019 UIL 5A Academic State Championships in Mathematics, Science, and Number Sense. John DeLander, Edward Chalupa, Emily Conklin, and Jackie Moran, Administration. Best of Category Award from the Texas School Public Relations Association for the Highland Park ISD e-newsletter. 
Laura Draper, Holland Park High School. Her student was awarded a national gold medal for her artwork from Scholastic Arts and Writing. Julie Griggs, Highland Park Middle School. 12 of her students earned George Washington Honors Medal in the Freedom Foundation at Valley Forge National Essay Contest. Dan Holden and Tyler Jimenez Athletics. Their team won the 2019 UIL 5A Team Tennis State Championship, a state record 20th championship overall. Walter Kelly, Highland Park High School. Highland Park was once again named to U.S. News and World Report's list of top high schools in America. Jeff Lloyd, Athletics. His team won the 2019 UIL 5A Boys Golf State title. Margie Raper. Highland Park High School, was named the Interscholastic League Press Conference Teacher of the Year. The Highland Park High School yearbook was named a National Scholastic Press Association Pacemaker finalist. Mark Sherman, Athletics. His student won first place in the All Around and Parallel Bars at the 2019 Texas High School Gymnastic Coaches Association State Meet. Gene Streepy, Highland Park Middle School, won the Presidential Award for Excellence in Math and Science and was just appointed to the State Board for Educator Certification. Natalie Walker and Neil Patel, Highland Park High School. Two of their students were selected to All State Choir. Betty Sue Welch, Highland Park Middle School won a 2019 United States Professional Tennis Association Star Award. Let's give all of these outstanding professionals a round of applause. The Heart at Work Award is new this year and represents just one part of the collaboration between the Clements Foundation and, the Holland, and Holland Park ISD for the benefit of its employees. Director of Academics and Support Services, Lydia Walden, will make the presentation. Education requires compassion in adults meeting the needs of children. The Heart of Work Award provides us a chance to recognize and celebrate those staff members who make the well-being of our students a priority. These staff members are the unsung heroes who are going the extra mile to serve our students, staff, family, and community. They display the qualities of a servant's heart, make a difference in the lives of others, and inspire other Highland Park ISD employees through their actions. Heart at Work nominations were submitted by teachers, administrators, staff, families, and anyone interested in the well-being of our HPISD community and one certified and one non-exempt staff member from each campus and the central office were chosen to be honored tonight. Each of them will receive a $500 stipend generously provided by the Clements Foundation. They are by campus from Armstrong, Ashraf Moab, and Katrina Jefferson. From Bradfield, Valerie Proudfoot and Dale Goldschmidt. From Hire, Lauren Cothran and Jesus Christian. From University Park, Leslie Beckler and Anna Topia. From McCullough Intermediate, Savannah Vardell and Amy Polk. From Highland Park Middle School, Laura Whitehouse and Brenda Vardell. From Highland Park High School, Carolyn James and Joan Bays. And from the district office, Lydia Boudreau and Mary Witcher. Congratulations to you all. And now board secretary Lee Michaels and board finance officer Edward Herring will begin the service recognition portion of our program with our five year honorees.
We are very pleased to honor all of you who have dedicated yourselves to the children of our district for the last five years. Each of you plays a vital role in providing for an excellent education for our children. Our five-year honorees include Sydney Acers, Michael Laguerre, Martha Alfaro, Elizabeth Aris, Elizabeth Asher, Catherine Brandt, Carrie Bruner, Maria Cabrera, Jennifer Cashin, Natalie Cornelius, John DeLander, Kelly DeVoe, Timothy Ensley, Jennifer Farley, Roxanne Ferris, Kelly Flynn, Jenna Gall, Doris Guerra, Timothy Hall, Katherine Harrison, Amy Huey, Jessica Ingram, Katrina Jefferson, Stephanie Noble, Charlotte Lawton, John Lester, Rachel Losak, Ashley Martinez, Ronald Melton, Kelly Mailer, Brent Nuss, Norma Olson, Melissa Reed, Megan Riley, Oscar Ruiz, Kristen Swiger, Alicia Seaton, Mary Smart, Claudia Smith, Cody Taliaferro, Anna Tapia, Dr. Tom Trigg, Karen Voltalon, Andrea Webb, Marianne Westman. Let's give these folks a round of applause. Our trustee Stacy Kelly will now recognize our 10-year honorees. I am pleased to announce another initiative arising from the Clements Foundation partnership with the district. Beginning this year, a stipend of $1,000 will be awarded to all certified and non-certified staff who have served the district for 10 years or more on each of their five-year anniversaries. This will only be awarded to each staff member once every five years and will be awarded at each of the five-year milestones at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 years. It is my pleasure to recognize our employees who are celebrating 10 years of service to the district. They include Megan Bassett, Sharon Booth, Vanny Chuan, Jennifer Christie, Candace Connor, Laura Cornett, Cassandra Deaver, Ronald Francis, Rachel Fundenberg, Jennifer Hampton, Chelsea Howard, Erica Holtzman, Brett John, Walter Kelly, Nan Kim, Maria Miranda, as well as David Ripley, Sarah Roberts, Malika Saha, Emily Sanchez, Pak Sung, Candace Tanner, Temple Turex, and last, Andrew Watkins. Please join me in recognizing our 10-year honorees with one more round of applause. <laughs> Trustee Tom Sharp will make the next presentation. I'm delighted to honor our employees with 15 years of service. We're proud to recognize you for your loyalty and dedication. Susan Bailey, Deborah Blackwell, Hunt Carraway, Francisco Carrera, Sandra Cooley, Allison Cooper, Kendra Davis, Jenny Edgar, Rebecca Everett, Pat Gonzalez, Katrina Holman, Patty Knight, Courtney Layton, Cheryl Lindsay, Leon Muerter, David Myers, Lana Rayleigh, Joy Rumsey, Bradley Sanders, Lisa Seaman, Lynn Simino, Kim Tran, Vianne Vo, Natalie Walker, Toby Wisenhunt, Michelle Whitaker, and Brandy Wren. Congratulations to our 15-year honorees. Now I'd like to turn it over to Trustee Jay Ellis, who will announce our next awards.
This next group is celebrating 20 years with us. We are very grateful for these people for the commitment they have made to our students. Winsen Schwong, Kelly Davenport, Sally Gatlin, Dan Holden, and Gretchen Von Indy. Again, we truly appreciate your dedication to HPISD. Our principals and administrators are up next to honor their employees who have been with the district for 25 years. Our first speaker will be Armstrong Principal Betsy Cummins. Charles Branch. Charles is dedicated to the Armstrong community. He spends countless hours in the building and does his very best to answer the many requests of staff, students, and families. He truly knows the entire community, so we never have strangers enter or walk around the building. We love that he always has a great story to tell and connect with others. Thank you, Charles. Bradfield Principal Regina Dumar is up next. Ms. Jeannie Peoples joined HPISD as the Bradfield Elementary Registrar and Administrative Assistant in 1995 after her career in real estate and design. Ms. Jeannie has dedicated 25 years in serving our students, parents, and staff at Bradfield. She has a positive attitude and brightens the day of whomever she encounters. Her dependability and willingness to stop whatever she is doing to help others goes a long way. She has such high energy and seldom sits still. In her words, there's too much to do. I can sit later. Not only is Miss Jeannie a wife, a mother of two, and a proud Mimi, but she is the mother, counselor, and cheerleader of Bradfield. It doesn't matter if you're a staff member, a student, a parent, or a community member. She stops whatever she's doing to lend a non-judgmental ear and give her motherly advice. Thank you, Miss Jeannie, for making everyone's day a little brighter and for making a difference in the lives of so many over the past 25 years. We hope you stick around for the next 25. Let's celebrate, Miss Jeannie. UP Principal Candy Judd will present the next award. Congratulations, Deb Moore, on 25 years of service in Highland Park. You have been an amazing teacher to the students at UP. Your innovative and exceptional science lessons have created such wonder in all our students. Everyone wants to learn more and know more about science because of you. You truly make learning engaging and fun each and every day. And we are so thankful for you and all that you do for all students at UP. Thank you, and we appreciate you so, so much. When I think about the contributions that Yvonne Janik has made to Highland Park Middle School, I can't help but think about the way that she has established herself as an expert in her content area, the consummate professional that she is in her passion for teaching and for her own professional growth as a teacher. I really admire the way that she is able to inspire others to do their best work and she is one that is relentless in her pursuit for ex excellence and high expectations. And she is not afraid to put on a flat bill cap designed by one of her students and wear it to a Raider rally to show her support and her love for her kids. 
And it's not uncommon to find her not only at a basketball game at Highland Park Middle School, but one in Prosper ISD as well, where she wants to be there present to support her kids. And I know that Yvonne Janik has a lot of respect from her colleagues, her peers, and her principal, and serves as one of our valued campus leaders. So congratulations, Yvonne, for your years of service. And thank you so much for everything that you do for Highland Park Middle School and for the kids that you teach every year. This is quite the year to recognize Mindy Woods for her years of service at Highland Park Middle School because Mindy also has been voted on by her peers as our teacher of the year. Mindy has a servant heart. She is always looking to find ways to make the teachers that she works with better at what they do and making things done in a more simple manner. I marvel at the way that she calmly, collectively, and just lovingly supports her teachers and our kids in, in making Highland Park Middle School a place that is a great place to teach and to learn. Mindy has a wonderful laugh and looks at the bright side of things at every opportunity. And I can't imagine there's somebody that has the combination of love and support for, t for teammates and teachers, the content knowledge, to function as a CIT in a campus the size of ours, knowing the inventory and the plans that have to go into play to make our school work on the technology side of things. But then with all of that, it's just a fun person to be around and just a great person to call a Raider. And Mindy, I'm so proud of you and thank you for everything that you've done to, to support our school. Up next, we have facilities manager, Shane Bryan. Thank you, Mr. Gilbert. Uh, it's now my privilege to recognize the next 25-year uh, employee, uh, Jerry Fine. Um, I'd like to start out by saying, um, usually when we talk about the cleanliness, the appearance of our buildings, uh, a lot of people think of the interior um, parts of our buildings. You know, when our teachers, when our students, when our parents walk in the doors, we want our campuses to um, the appearance of our campus is to be, um, you know, above and beyond everybody, everything else, um, not substandard. Um, I'd like to think um, exterior of our buildings, we like to um, treat them the same way. So um, Jerry, 25 years ago, Jerry was given the task to uh, maintain our buildings from the, on the exterior and uh, has done an outstanding job, um, in my opinion, um, over the years and continues to do an outstanding job. Uh, it proves over, you know, even during this pandemic, um, Jerry's been doing an outstanding job, uh, him and his staff, uh, of maintaining our campuses, making our campuses look nice. Um, I've gotten numerous compliments um, just over the past couple of weeks, just how our facilities are looking um, during this pandemic. So. Uh, Jerry's very passionate about his work, always has been. Um, he takes a lot of pride in his trade. And, uh, you know, some, sometimes it can get the best of him, but, uh, you know, that that's what I love about him. He's uh, very passionate about his work, um, very intelligent. Um, to me, you know, he's an expert at what he does. And uh, I have numerous times um, asked for his uh, consultation you know, to help me get through some of this bond projects and uh, making sure all of our jobs are um, to the district standards and that contractors are, are doing what they need to do um, to make sure uh, we keep maintaining our buildings the way, the way we would like to. Um, you know, Jerry has, uh, you know, he's got numerous 
numerous titles. Um, he's not just a groundskeeper, he's our IPM coordinator. He takes care of all the um, chemicals, makes sure we're following all the Texas laws and codes and we're not putting down the wrong chemicals and uh, um, he does it, he does that well. And, and I think sometimes, you know, a lot of these things um, that Jerry does, you know, he, even I take it for granted. Um, but without him, you know, I, I don't know what we would do. I mean, of course we would eventually um, figure it out, but you know, I don't, I don't really want to be put in that position. So uh, Jerry's done a great job. And like I said, over the years, I've known Jerry as a, a coworker, um, employee, and, you know, even, even a better friend. And uh, I think I'm a better man. I, I, I'm even a better manager um, just with the help of Jerry. Just some, you know, some of the things that he's taught me. So um, Jerry's, you know, he's been here for 25 years, so I, mean, I hate to lose that guy. He's, he's not going to be here another 25 more. So, but as long as he's with us, um, um, I, I know he'll continue doing a great job. And Jerry, thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. You've been, you've been awesome. Keep up the good work and uh, hope you're here for at least another 10 years. So, um, um, thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Yeah. So, um, our next speaker, um, Armstrong's principal, uh, Betsy Cummins. Jeff Lloyd and Maxine Nelson. Coach Lloyd truly loves his job and is always there for the students and staff. He leads fun activities in PE and truly knows each child. He connects with the students and is the teacher that every student remembers. Thank you, Jeff, for an outstanding 30 years of service. Maxine Nelson is everyone's favorite. She's always smiling and willing to do whatever is needed at Armstrong. She develops individual relationships with students and many come back to visit her. Thank you, Maxine, for 30 years of dedication to HPISD. Next, we are proud to recognize Highland Park Middle School Counselor Margaret Arnold, who is celebrating 30 years of service, and she's also retiring this year. So we're gonna make more comments about her later on in the program with our retirees, but congratulations, Margaret. Next up, on, being honored for 30 years of service is Burgundy Bass. Burgundy serves as a health teacher at Highland Park Middle School, but she's so much more than that. She serves on our instructional leadership team and really offers such a balance for our staff in the way that she is continually focusing on mental health and well-being, not only for her students, but for her colleagues. There is not a person that works at Highland Park Middle School that doesn't hold Burgundy in the utmost respect in terms of the way that she makes school fun, she makes things unique, and has just a different approach to her work that everybody seems to enjoy, and everybody certainly respects the way that she conducts herself at school. We're grateful for everything that Burgundy has done for the Highland Park Middle School Raiders in her time with us and we are excited to see what more is yet to come. Burgundy is one that's always looking for new and improved ways to reach kids and connect with kids and connect with our staff members and Highland Park Middle School is certainly a better place with Burgundy on our team. Tim Vardell is also being recognized uh, for his years of service 
at in Highland Park ISD. One of the highlights of my day is is finding Tim and just taking a minute to hear about what he's up to, whether he's on the roof, in the store, in the in the in the in the sewer, in the storm drains, uh, or everywhere in between. Tim is constantly working to make our building a better place for kids, for teachers, and for our parents. No job is too big or too small. He's happy to do the work. And not only will he do great work, he's always got such a creative and um, funny way to, to spin things and to share his view and his lens on this world. Um, I have really come to value our partnership and our friendship and the time that we spend together making Highland Park Middle School a, a great place for our kids. And if you haven't had the opportunity to catch Tim in his tinny llamas uh, one day at school, you are certainly missing out. Uh, Tim, you have a style that is unique, um, but more than that, your heart is as pure as gold. And I am just so grateful that you are on my team and that we together get to take care of the Highland Park Middle School Raiders. Up next is Walter Kelly, and he will introduce his honoree. Congratulations, Joan Bay, to the Highland Park High School cafeteria. It's one of the best places to eat in the Park Cities. It's the busiest restaurant in the Park Cities. Joan continues to hold high expectations for everyone. She also promotes a great amount of loyalty. I think of Henry and Barbara over the years. Um, it's truly an enjoyable experience because she's always looking to help the customer, to help our students, to make it a great place. She listens carefully and she also promotes great new ideas and is always looking for ways to make the experience for dining, and I do mean dining, in our high school, a quality and great experience for the students and adults. She also is one of our great ambassadors for our parents in the community as she coordinates and works with PTA. Joan, it's a pleasure and an honor to work with you. Congratulations. Jerry Sutterfield, congratulations on 35 years of service to Highland Park High School and Highland Park ISD. As a longtime coach, head coach, girls athletic coordinator, um, and also working with our students to make sure that they stay healthy and safe, I appreciate you. Um, you show the greatest level of integrity in your work. For those who don't know, uh, Jerry has forfeited a state championship because there was an error in the point calculation. That's what it takes to live and work with integrity for 35 years. His compassion and care for others. Uh, he is always lifting people up. I remember a time where I was struggling as a dad in my, off, in my office. He came in for a meeting and just simply took the time to talk through my perspective and to help me work forward. Uh, I appreciate you as a colleague. You demonstrate the utmost responsibility and always reliable, but also looking for ways to make things better. I appreciate you as a caregiver, not just for the adults, but also, and mostly for the kids, but you do both. And last, as a friend for life. Again, I stole this phrase from you. I know a lot of people use it, but I appreciate you, Jerry. Love you. And looking at 35 years of service, we have Betty Sue Welch from Highland Park Middle School, and she's also retiring this year. So I'm gonna speak more about her when we honor our retirees and keeping the conversation going on years of service.
assistant principal, Richard Bohack, 40 years uh, of service in Highland Park ISD. And he too is retiring at the end of this school year. And so we're gonna recognize him later. Uh, congratulations, Betty Sue, congratulations, Richard. Up next again is Highland Park High School principal, Walter Kelly. Donna Pierce, congratulations on 40 years of service to Highland Park High School and Highland Park ISD. You are someone that I truly admire. Uh, first, on a humorous note, you know who has real influence and power in a school and community? When the principal walks into the building and sees that the planetarium has been named after Donna and those letters are already up on the planetarium, uh, it's such a deserving honor. Donna is the embodiment of a community ambassador as a teacher. She's outreaching to elementary students, to middle school students, to students across the area, to students across the world through her exchange work. She also makes sure that she combines a joy and a love for astronomy with a love for students. She hosts birthday parties, class reunions, you name it, she's an icon. Um, one of the things that I greatly admire about you is you always are looking for new adventures, new learnings, and new friends. That is the spirit of what I hope Highland Park High School embodies for many years to come. Donna, it is an honor and a pleasure to work with you, and I love you. Take care. Anne Edwards. Anne Edwards is the perfect kindergarten teacher. She is knowledgeable and passionate about children. When you walk into her classroom, you can see that she is a gifted educator. She develops meaningful relationships with each child and she'll be greatly missed. Mary Carol Hughes. Mary Carol Hughes is a master first grade teacher. She is an amazing reading specialist and the students thrive in her class. Her calm, personal manner has been an asset to Armstrong staff and families for many years. We will miss you, Mary Carol. Heather Turner. Heather Turner is the true heart of Armstrong. She faithfully serves the staff, students, and parents with a smile on her face. She can answer any question and knows how to solve all the problems. She's a great listener, a dependable friend, and advocates for doing what is best for everyone. Heather will be missed in so many ways. We love you, Heather. Bradfield Principal Regina Dumar is up next. Kay Smith has dedicated 30 years of her life to educating children. Highland Park students and parents have been blessed for over 21 years as she chose to enrich their lives. Ms. Smith began her career in Arlington ISD where she taught second grade. She then found her way to Highland Park where she taught second grade at UP before staying home to raise her children. 18 years ago, the Bradfield community was blessed when she decided to return as our beloved kindergarten teacher. Ms. Smith completed her undergraduate at Baylor University, and between being an educator, a mother, a wife, she earned her master's from University of Texas in Dallas. Ms. Smith is the proud mother of two, one of whom followed in her mother's footsteps to educate children and is the tag teacher at Armstrong. She is also a proud honey to precious little Avery and Hayes. We are thankful Ms. Smith has chosen to dedicate her life in educating our littlest Broncos. She takes time each day to encourage students with a kind heart, positivity, and high standards. She makes great impacts on our students as they begin their school careers, as she reaches their minds through reaching their hearts. Some of our Broncos have even had the privilege of Miss Smith teaching multiple generations in their families, like the Heads, Boyds, and LaRue's. 
One example of how Miss Smith shows her love for her students is a tradition she's been doing for years as she sends her students to first grade. She puts on red lipstick and she kisses their little cheeks or their hands so that they remember her love that she will continue to have for them as they move through life. Miss Smith has been a wonderful role model and will hold a special place in our hearts as she moves into the next chapter of her life. She will truly be missed. However, I know that her sweet spirit and passion to love her children will live on in each of us for decades to come. Congratulations, Miss Smith. Here's to kissing your sweet little hand and cheek and knowing that you will always be loved. Let's applaud and give her and celebrate her. Thank you. Next is Higher Principal Debbie Burke. She will make the next presentation. I am proud tonight to be here with you to recognize the service of Sally Titmus. Sally has been in education and at higher elementary for over 30 years. That means she has had over 700 students in her homeroom over the time that she has been at higher. Sally not only has had a memorable impact on the students in her homeroom, but all of the students at higher elementary, as well as the staff and families. Sally is a celebrity to many. Everyone knows Miss Titmus and everyone loves her. They, Sally is known for her spunky personality and love of teaching. She will not be forgotten. She will be missed, leaving behind a legacy of enthusiasm and dedication for teaching. We are so proud of you, Miss Titmus, and we hate to lose you, but we know that your impact on so many people will forever be in their hearts. Thank you so much for your service to all of our higher Huskies. And now, I turn it over to Candy Judd, Principal at University Park Elementary. Liam, you heard her. We are so happy for you and your retirement. We are sad for us. You have given so much of your heart and soul to UP, and we knew the time was coming, especially since you're 108 years old, but we're very sad to see you go. From teaching our students how to read and then moving them on to become independent learners onto amazing adults, we thank you for all that you have done, all the hard work and leadership you've given to UP. We love you and we will miss you greatly and we wish you the very best in your future. And now for Dr. Moran. Laura Reinhardt has been the queen of technology at McCullough Intermediate School since the days of the one room computer lab and two desktops in every classroom and has overseen a transformation of the campus to now we have a one to one plus environment with Chromebooks and iPad carts in every classroom for students to use at all times to support their teaching and learning. And throughout that transformation, Laura has kept one thing at the forefront and that is teaching and learning. Laura is a true teacher and her lessons are legendary. She loves to be in the classroom in front of students. She loves to be working with teachers, teaching them a new technology tool and has been a great support in helping our campus transform to a true digital environment. Laura is also committed to keeping our students safe online and has been a leader on our campus and throughout the district in leading 
innovations related to digital citizenship. Lara, congratulations on your many years of service to the students at McCullough and Highland Park ISD. We wish you well and the impact that you have had in transforming teaching and learning will be felt for a long time. Congratulations. Doug Jeffcoats has been one of the most popular and sought out teachers at McCullough Intermediate School in his many years of service, first as a fifth grade language arts and social studies teacher, and most recently as a sixth grade world cultures teacher. He combines a folksy sense of humor with a warm and caring love for his students and a creative sense of teaching that ignites his students' interest in history, and in writing and reading. Doug, we appreciate your many years of service to your students. We appreciate all that you've done to make your classroom a place of learning and a joy for your students. Doug even spends his summers traveling with students to Washington DC, to New York and special trips to continue to ignite their love of history. We wish you well on the next stage of uh, your journey, and thanks for all you've done for HPISD. Congratulations. Any morning of the week, if you get to McCullough Intermediate School early in the morning, you will see a steady stream of fifth graders making their way up the stairwell to Rick Schlender's classroom for morning tutoring. And if you walk into the classroom, you will see a full classroom of students working hard, excited about math and excited about learning with Mr. Schlender. Rick maintains high expectations for his students, but he never gives up on a student. And because of that, they leave his classroom with a love of math and a love for Mr. Schlender because they know that he loves them. Rick, we appreciate your many years of service to the students at McCullough Intermediate School and UP Elementary. As you've been in Highland Park ISD and we wish you the best in your next stage. Congratulations and best wishes. It is truly an honor to, to have this opportunity to recognize those staff members from Highland Park Middle School that will be retiring at the end of the 2019-2020 school year. Collectively as a group, they have been an inspiration to so many students and colleagues, and of course their principal. And so I am pleased to share the following comments regarding the work and the influence these, this group of special educators has had at Highland Park Middle School. The first person that I would like to recognize is Margaret Arnold, who has served as a counselor at McCullough Intermediate School and Highland Park Middle School, and just has done so with class, with grace. She is, uh, truly a student-centered person that every day makes school better for kids. She makes herself available to her students. She makes herself um, you know, uh, available to talk through whatever needs they have, whatever concerns they have at school, and uh, is willing to take the time necessary to help build relationships and friendships and um, really meet the needs of middle school age kids. And I don't think you're going to find somebody that can do it in a more masterful way and does it and makes it look, does hard jobs and makes it look easy. Uh, Margaret Arnold, uh, I will never forget the times I would just find myself sitting there listening to you impart wisdom about school, about serving kids, about teaching and learning. I have learned so much from you in the time that we have spent together at Highland Park Middle School. We are truly gonna miss you. And I truly appreciate 
the opportunity to have served with you and to learn from you. And I wish you all the best in your retirement. Up next Next is Betty Sue Welch, BSW as we call her. Uh, Coach Welch, I, I can't imagine somebody that's had had a more full career in doing so many different things from as a, as a state champion, a tennis player, to a tennis coach, to a PE coach, uh, serving as an advisory teacher, just being so many things to so many kids, providing kids the opportunity to connect with school, in a way that they otherwise would not have the chance to. Seeing you pull that water bottle from your sweatpant pocket, reminding me to stay hydrated as you take a sip, reminding me exactly which bottle of water you were on for the day. I I'll never forget that. Um, but I think more than anything, uh, the thing that I think inspires me the most about having worked with you is the sincere and true heart that you have for the Special Olympics and the role that you played in serving our kids that participated in the Special Olympics and giving them the opportunity to compete, to win, and to represent Highland Park uh, in such a fine way. Um, you are just uh, someone that we are so lucky to have worked with. You were a treasure and someone that we are gonna miss at, at Highland Park Middle School. Up next is Jay Baker, Coach Baker, science teacher, boys basketball coach, cross country coach. Uh, just the from the first time I met you, your enthusiasm for teaching, your love for kids, just your choice in life to to make things fun. Um, I, I loved sharing a school with you and loved walking into your classroom and you would have your kids stand up and applaud for me like it was the president I, it was just so funny um, but more than that i remember watching you tell your kids you love them and you know in a middle school uh a coach telling their students that he loves them and being genuine about that that was something that really struck me as a as a great way to build classroom uh community and to let kids know and you know, Coach Baker, you've been coaching and teaching a long time and you never missed an opportunity to tell me, aren't we lucky to be here? Aren't we so lucky to work with these kids and to, and to teach these kids and to coach these kids? And um, I'm gonna miss hearing you yell midline during basketball games. I'm gonna miss that great hat, seeing you uh, ride your bike with the cross country kiddos. Uh, but more than anything, I'm gonna miss just your personality and your commitment to these kids. And um, I just cannot thank you enough for the service that you've given to Highland Park Middle School in your time. Richard Bohack, the big cat, man, what do I say? Uh, I have never worked with an administrator that has been more dedicated to serving the needs of kids, to being willing to, to make the extra phone call, to collaborate with parents, being able to support teachers in a variety of ways, just the presence that you command at Highland Park Middle School, whether it's in the hallways or the cafeteria, whether it's at games, whether it's in the classrooms, whether it's in the office, you always know when the big cat is around. Uh, Richard, your, your attention to detail, your attention to making Highland Park Middle School a great place for kids, um, whether it's running a tight ship in the cafeteria or making things fun on spirit day. And um, who can forget the time you were so proud to rock that, that holiday sweater, but you couldn't figure out why the buttons were on the wrong side. And when we had to tell you that the reason why those buttons were on the wrong side was because it was a woman's sweater and you rocked it proudly anyway that only Mr. Bohack could. When I got to Highland Park Middle School, all I heard was the legend of Mr. Bohack. He would hide in the bushes and at the high school and to try to catch kids that were leaving school early and just all the crazy things that were just legend. And when I got to Highland Park Middle School, I'm here to tell you, it's all true. He is a legend. He did so many crazy things to make school fun for kids. and. And just the things that you did to teach me uh, how to be a better leader and a better principal, 
and ultimately um, the friendship that we have and will continue to have even though you're retiring um, you know you know you're a legend when your name can be a noun you can be a bow hack you can get bow hacks you can receive a bow hack you can go to the bow hack I mean your name is synonymous with legend in Highland Park ISD in Highland Park Middle School and please know that I hold you in just the highest of regards and I love you as a colleague and as a friend and I just thank you for everything that you did for our kids and and for me personally um, you're gonna be missed from in, around here And then the last one is Kim Thornton. Kim, I, I uh, served uh, Highland Park Middle School as an instructional, um, as an in-class support teacher, helping kids with special needs, keeping pace with on grade level material, working with teachers, modifying work, accommodating in the classroom, making sure that her students that were assigned her caseload were successful regardless of the challenges that they're facing in school every day being able to partner with teachers and show teachers how to best serve the needs of students with special needs and doing so in a calm way and a supportive way and one that we knew was encouraging and came from a place of genuine care and concern. We really appreciate the, the, the level of service that you provided in our school and the way that you went about your work every day, consummate pro, kids first, supporting teachers, being a team player. You check every box for what it takes to be a successful teacher. And we wish you all the best as you move into your next chapter. And with that, I will leave the next introduction of retirees to Highland Park High School Principal, Walter Kelly. Greg Bergeron, congratulations on your somewhat retirement, but retirement from public schools and retirement from Highland Park High School. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with you for the last 10 years. Um, you have an amazing ability to pull many people together to a common cause and to step back and make it look like nothing was done, but it was magic. You have a way to move people together and then support them moving forward. I admire that. You also have an amazing ability and commitment to the well-being of the people around you in a way which can be uncompromising. That is an inspiration to all of us as leaders. Your work with academic decathlon, with girls soccer, and with working with some of the most at-risk students at math has left our school a better place. Thank you. You've made me a better person and I appreciate you. Luen Carr, congratulations on your retirement. It's an honor and a privilege to work with you for the past 10 years. Your amazing commitment to making sure that things are ready every day for your students, to really lead in a way which is precise and diligent and caring, really in some ways covers up the person I've loved to get to know with you. Your sense of humor, your warmth, your quick wittedness, and sometimes that ability to cut through a conversation and just say the right thing at the right moment. No one should ever underestimate the commitment and also the impact you've had with our students over many years and know that you've impacted us as adults as well. Congratulations, Luann. Stacey Kimbrough, congratulations. Congratulations on your retirement. And I wanna thank you for your impact that you've left on our math department, our students, and our faculty at Highland Park High School. First, the number of teachers you've worked with over the years that have just begun their careers and will continue to work with mathematics and teaching and caring for students, you've made that difference. You've helped build that culture of excellence in our math department. Uh, also, your experiences over the last 10 years and getting to know you, I know you a bit as a parent, and also how you've led that culture of math, of humor with hard work. Uh, I love you, I appreciate you, and I want to congratulate you on your retirement. Thank you, Stacy.
Dan Patterson, congratulations on your retirement. It is well-deserved. And also, I couldn't think of a better human being to work with over the last 10 years. You've led with the culture of care and humor, but expectations in your classroom. I, I got to work across the hall from you for several years. It was my honor and privilege to select you as department chair. And I watched as you took a great culture and not only continued to have that culture within your teachers, but kept the celebrations of the past with some forward thinking of what can we do to make um, make our colleagues and one another and me better. I appreciate specifically the way sometimes you wouldn't give the answer, you would lead another adult to the answer. And I've watched you do it with students. You would lead them right up to the point where they had to think for themselves and you've done it with me. Uh, and then allowed that to come forward and always supporting each person's learning. Uh, there are times where I've trusted you to a level that I just will always appreciate. You're a lifelong friend. You're a leader, an educator, and a great human being. Thank you, Anne. Melinda, congratulations on your somewhat retirement, at least retirement from public schools in Holland Park High School. You're one of the great math teachers, and I, and I grew up with a great math teacher. My grandmother um, was a high school math teacher. I called her late at night, panicked about whatever subject I was taking, and she would take her time and patience to walk through not only how to do it, but let me figure it out myself. And in doing so, always encouraged me and let me know that I had the ability to do it. I know that you have that same impact on our math students and our kids here. The impact is beyond math. The impact is to create agency as a learner, that they are able to figure out problems for themselves and they have it within them to solve something they didn't think they could do. Uh, you've created one great problem, which is sometimes everybody in the community wants to have you for every class in mathematics. Um, and while you have led a great department, um, you've also led a great, you've had a great impact on our world and our school and our students. I appreciate the way that you push around ideas that care for human beings. Melinda, I appreciate you. It is an honor and a privilege to have served with you as a colleague. Best wishes. We have a few staff members who retired earlier in the year, and we'd like to acknowledge them again tonight. Benny Mees, Facility Services Administration. Pat Sofun, Facility Services Armstrong. We thank them for the years of dedicated service. Also, thank you to Chief of Staff John DeLander, his communications team, Emily Conklin, Edward Chalupa, and Jackie Moran for planning this unique celebration with the help of HR staff members, Melinda Tubb and Rita Bryan. In closing, I wanna thank each and every one of you once again for the time, energy, and talent you've given to this school district. We wish that we could have said all of this to you in person. This is a very special event for us because we believe it's important to take time to honor the people who make this school district the excellent place that it is. You're the heart and soul of the Highland Park ISD family and we appreciate you more than you will ever know. A special thank you goes out to all the family members and friends of the staff members we are recognizing tonight. Without the support of our loved ones, we could not do all that we do. Thank you and good night.